Hello everyone, welcome again and today I'm going to show you another demo on Spring Boot project which is airport management system so to maintain the flights or to man manage the uh, like uh, planes over the airport, the staffs, we have this project, uh, this is a web application and uh, for the front end it's using JPA, uh, JSP and servlet, no, sorry JSP, S HTML, CSS and all the front end things and for the back end side it's using a Spring Boot uh, to manage the back, uh, resources or database it's using MySQL database with Havenate to view the records uh, as a GUI operator we are using MySQL Workbench if you see here we have a table name airport uh, management DB under the airport management DB we have multiple tables allowed uh, departure log and users <coughs> so um, currently the main table as a user under the user table if you see we have a different role id and different roles of the application different types of users that going to interact with the application the very first user we have is an admin with role id 1 so if you see any record in this table with role id 1 always that user will be treated as an admin if you see as a 2 role id 2 it will be a manager and it will uh, if the role id is 3 then it will be a pilot We'll see all the uh, logins and functionality one by one. You know, before that, uh, let's run the code. In my machine, it's already running. So I just stop the server and uh, we'll run it again to show you how can you run the project. So if you have this project already, or if you're planning to buy this project, our team, uh, support team, will run the project at your machine, will set up everything. And in this current state, uh, we'll provide hand over the project to you. After that, what you need to do to run the project, <coughs> just right click on that application file, go to run as, select on a Spring Boot app. And after that, let it be complete, like let it be process and open the application or properties file under the resources and check your code number is at, at uh, code I made and the application name. Uh, to run the application, you required a uh, code number and the project name. So if you see here in my record, the Tomcat is started and the application is running on the port number port I made. So I just open a browser and let's enter new. So I enter localhost column, my port number and the application name. So in my case, the application name is port management. I enter the hit button. I enter the enter there and then if you see this is a home page. Under the home page, you will see the application, uh, some animations is there. And then we have a sign in and sign up option. So under the sign up, you can register as a user, as an end user, or you can say as a staff, you can register. But under the sign in, we have a different role. So let's uh, log in one by one. So the very first time I'm going to log in as an admin. So for the admin user, we have admin at red123.com as an email id so we need to enter the employee id here so check this 101010 is the employee id of that employee and then we have to enter the password that is admin at the red123 i enter the login and uh, username and the password and then i enter in the system so as an admin who i perform our operation i can perform i can add a new plane let's say if new planes uh, will come into the organization or at the airport, I can add that uh, plane. So let's say I enter some dummy model number, <coughs> purchase date, last service date. So let's say last service is done today only, and the price. So let's say I enter this and click on the save button. That the core data will be displayed here, and you can say. You can see it uh, under the plane list. So these are the plane that are available on particular uh, airport and uh, I can as an admin I can perform edit delete operations here. So to delete I just need to click on the checkbox and hit the delete button the data will be deleted. I can under the action section I can edit the records. Another option we have a manager list. So what kind of users different managers will be there into the application. I can check them as an admin. Also I can check a pilot list. Uh, as an admin after that uh, if I want to add a uh, like add a hanger or add a hanger is a place where uh, we service our uh, like the airplane is going to refactor or servicing will be there so this, this is kind of place or workshop you can say 
So I'm gonna add a new hanger. So I just press, I enter some dummy data, click on the save button, the data is saved successfully. Now I can check the list here. Okay, now I can update the resources. So if I want to update the waypoint, like uh, where we need to stop or departure locations, all the locations we can update from here. So like waypoint, by a point, like I, I want to go and go to Delhi, so via some other city, so I can hit the point here. And uh, other option also we have uh, departure locations, departure locations and destination locations, I can hit the locations. Also we have option to add a work schedule, so if is there any work schedule for any pilot, I can select here. So we uh, let's see we have uh, one pilot, 10 zero, or one zero double one and I can select a destination or all the details for me okay when I log out with this admin user and now let's log in as a new pilot and so we have existing record as a pilot one zero double one and I'm going to enter this employee ID and the password so this is a pilot and the role ID is three okay what pilot can do pilot can check the uh, flight plan so let's say i'm gonna plan for this flight let's say i'm gonna use this one with delhi let's say enter some time for this and currently i'm entering some dummy data so you can enter the validator it's showing a validation error the id plan plane is already scheduled so let's I'll add a new plan and oh, now it's done. A flight is added successfully. So how do you add uh, that particular um, pilot can check the scheduled flight? Here we have a help center, a help and help center, work schedule. So these are the scheduled work for this pilot that's added by the admin. And pre-flight mode uh, in case a uh, pilot want to update the data for the any 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 plane. Any, 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 any flight before uh, take a fly so let's say I'm gonna adding this data for this so up to as a pilot I have to enter all the details like is uh, laptop power is on or uh, what the thing is going on laptop battery is fully charged and mm -hmm. is mission plan start is motor is secured or not and I set the list so these are the checklist that I have performed as a pre-flight mode I can check the details here and post flight mode what I need uh, is is there any kind of service or uh, service required for that particular flight so I can select the plane number uh, the place service uh, service place and the master switch off or on I can update the data I can check the post list here now we have a last user which is a manager and let's see what a manager can do over there so just enter the email id employee id and the password for the manager see um, manager can check the hanger list also if manager want to alert a hanger to the particular admin a particular plan and uh, that we can assign a hanger like we want uh, some flight at some workplace so as a as a manager i can add it i can view the status of the hanger like what are, what are the hanger is alerted or not alerted to the particular location check the help list check the pre-flight checks and that is in that this data is entered by the pilot and now manager is verifying the correct data uh, is showing or not so that's all for the airport management system now the last thing if you need the source code you can contact us over the uh, whatsapp gmail or skype uh, our team will respond you back and as we have a remote support and the explanation classes we will uh, it will help you to uh, we will help you to run the project and then it's in the project so if you are preparing for interview going for a college viva it will be good choice for a major project